Well, folks, how are you today? I uh, wish I was doing better, but I'm not. Uh, got a little situation going on. I've got an antifreeze leak, and there's the knife. Let's get over here and check it out. I just noticed it. Uh, punctured a hole in one of the lines because it was rubbing. And I noticed it when I was coming out of Campbell's right after I got done uh, getting my bills and stuff set up so I'd come out and get the load. Oh, it's right here, and obviously you can see the puddle under it, and it's right there just a scooge out. So I'm going to pinch this line off, try to take this off, and shove, cut that, and uh, see if I can get that to fit. That way we aren't leaking anymore. Hopefully I can do that, and that'll take care of that. So we'll see. That's uh, not how I wanted to start my day. I can tell you that much right now. I just got over here and hooked up. As I was walking out, I seen a puddle under the truck, and I thought, oh, crap. So that's what I'm going to do real quick. Hopefully I can get that hose clamp off because it looks like it is a little bit old and I'm going to get dirty and I haven't even started running yet. This is my first load and I'm kind of running behind. So I have to get a hold of the dispatcher. I hope not because she's already stressed about guys being off and load me up with extra stuff and whatnot. I know I've got some antifreeze up in there. I hope I got two jugs. No one should do it, if not, until I get to a place to get more, so wish me luck. able to uh, get it cut and patched rerouted the line a little bit I had to oh looks like I do have two gallons of antifreeze actually I've got three thank god I've got three um, hopefully I don't need all three but I don't know I gotta find my gotta find this thing I gotta get this dumped in and moving but yeah I just cut I had to uh, there's a valve on the back so I turn that off and then I split that line where I cramped it. And then, uh, you know, just cut that bad boy off real quick. Had to cut some zip ties and move some stuff, but cut that bad boy off real quick. And then, uh, you know, did what I had to do as fast as I could because I've got a big old puddle under here. Big O, and I've got it all over me. Not exactly what I wanted to do was take an antifreeze bath today. So hopefully three will get me by until I can get over to uh, North Baltimore. I gotta go pick up a trailer to Papa so I can swing into the, um, into the uh, Petro real quick and grab one, but God, I hate it. Now I got antifreeze all over my shit and I hate it. So be getting clean tomorrow while it's raining. Well, just fired up the truck. Uh, hooked my airlines up real quick. Yeah, was gonna drop the, uh, lift up the landing gear, but I don't have enough air in the truck and the bags to uh, keep that thing up when I do drop it, just squash them down. Let's get under here, and uh, we're good. We ain't got no leaks, so at least that's one good thing. I'm gonna have to haul ass today. I'm talking hoof it, because uh, this ain't good. This cost me probably about half hour, maybe 15 minutes. Uh, you know, even if I didn't get you out, it still would have cost me time, so it really don't matter. I'm not just dropping and hooking like I usually do over to uh, the ramp. I got to go to the Papa's yard every time. I don't even have my lights on. They might get nasty with me. I go back inside, but I'll tell them what happened. I'll say, look, I had... Uh, antifreeze spewing out of my truck so i just hauled ass to find a trailer to see if i could shut it down or the yeah shut the truck down and fix it because if not i've been in trouble on the double sooner and later probably so at least we got that taken care of 
so we can uh, let our truck build some air and get back to our day that took there was two and probably three quarters sorry i'm putting my information in here that's why i'm looking down there was two and three quarters um of those jugs of the antifreeze one had already been used and open but it's all good it filled it up to the middle almost the top of the reservoir so i was happy about that i don't have to worry about um you know going out and grabbing any now because i do have more at home but uh i'd rather buy that stuff from walmart because it's a lot cheaper than uh, what it would be at the truck stop so that's what uh that's what's going on it's 356 right now it's almost four it's like 58 degrees now it's supposed to be like well it might be 60 right now it's supposed to be like 58 all night even overnight wind's supposed to get up and it's supposed to get um rainy let's at least kick our flashers on here real quick jump up in here and hit our light switch and uh go back and check the trailers and i can crank that landing gear up and you slide the tandems lock it and get down the road because uh like i said i'm running about usually over here at three so i'm running about an hour behind so we gotta we gotta move our lights are good it's a brand new chassis brand new chassis so once i get this landing gear up and stuff and slide these tandems i'll be good and this thing is okay oh, baby it was a lot tighter but i would already broke it free a little bit and it was starting to um crunch down on the bags and i thought well i better get this gear rolling before i try to do this and uh one more thing before we go do all this let's get up in there and check and make sure our lock jaws are in and we're good so now we can slide her and get the hell out of here because well we need to let's look at this puddle real quick not nothing's leaking so that's what i'm talking about well hopefully your view's not too bad there folks uh just took off down the road and uh for some reason we are we keep on bouncing between 190 and uh 200 on the old temperature gauge here uh i know that stuff that was in the side box that i dumped in was cool so i don't know if that's it or not but good god hopefully we got enough in there and uh i mean it's not staying up at 200 it's just going up to 200 and bouncing right back down so i don't know what the deal is once i get over to the ramp and stuff and uh bobtail out of there i will go over to the i'll check it you know make sure everything's kosher and stuff because i don't want any problems because i got four loads to do i got the three napoleons which this is one of them so i gotta come back here twice and uh grab those paths those coyotes from over there and then i've got a cooper tire that i gotta do which if i'm running close to midnight i'll be fine i'm, I'm pretty well in with the people over csx where I don't think they'll criticize me too much if I'm running in there a little after midnight because you're not supposed to. But I'll call and talk to them and let them know what's going on. I'm sure they'll make an exception for me this once if I need. So, yeah, then I got to take a yard pull over to the drop yard and then go around the corner, grab another path, and then come on back. So, we'll see what happens. I'm going to have to stop for fuel too sometime today. But it's what it is, um, you know, I'll, I'll haul ass the whole time. I mean, legally, I'll do what I can to uh, get this thing moving and everything in on time. She said if I can't get something in, just let them know and they'll take care of it, which I feel bad because she's sitting there asking me earlier while I was at the house, can you run tomorrow? I said, no. She said, we got 12 guys off. I said, no, it's supposed to be super windy. I'm not running, sorry. Then she asked me later, can you run Friday and take Saturday or Sunday off? And I said, no, I'm not taking Saturday or Sunday off. Those are my big money days. But maybe, just maybe, I will uh, work Friday for them, I told them. So we'll see. This load is 
off real quick, then I went back down there, pulled them off, cut it where I needed to, and then I had to go and cut a couple zip ties because the way the line was routed. And uh, let's get you in on this real quick, and I'll show you what I'm talking about down here on this edge. See if it'll go back down. Well, it might stay there. I don't know. We'll see, I guess. If I put you back over here and you're cooking, I'm sorry. I'll probably cut you out in a minute anyway, so. Well, we're going to push it to the limits because that's the kind of guy we are. That's what we do. Uh, I only got four water bottles if I need that, but that's what the last thing I'm trying to dump in my shit, so. We'll see what happens. It is warmer, though, today, so that may be why it's running a little bit higher than normal, which it probably would have anyways because it's, like I said, almost truck hasn't felt this temperature in you know probably two months so we'll see what happens but yeah I take the you know proper steps to make sure it's taken care of when I get to where I need to go I just needed to get moving and definitely wasn't trying to call nobody I don't got time to call nobody and have them help me out I don't need to help when it comes to something like that I'm just gonna do it as quick as possible uh, I did have another hose clamp I don't think it would have fit but all I do is cut that hose and uh, shove it back in there put that clamp on and I was moving so not too excited about having antifreeze all over me or you know my clothes or the truck but it's what it is could be worse that's all I can say it's it could be worse so let's listen to this guy right here see this one I always do it. 
I doubt myself, I should just know better. Like, I'm going to do it. And if I don't, then, oh, well, I guess I'll make a phone call. Or figure something out. Yeah, he couldn't have been at a better location for me to be able to take the closest pictures I could yesterday. And uh, I don't think that'll ever happen again. I, I just don't. I mean, I would love for that to happen again, but I highly doubt it. That was like a one-time deal probably for me in that snow out. So, but I mean, if I can get him down here on some of the poles down here where the actually lights are on, that'd be sweet too because where I got it yesterday, the lighting was super shitty. But the pictures didn't turn out too bad and I can edit them once I get them uh, to the right place to be able to do that. 33 I guess. Whip round back here and go back here. Now, he was sitting right there. But my phone sucked. Yeah, and these crane lights are all on, and those lights are on, and those lights must be new. What if he likes to sit where it's kind of dark? Because I don't think they were this bright um, when I took that picture. I do not believe so. Well, folks, I'm back home. It's about 1 o'clock, and um, sorry about the angles at the beginning of that. You couldn't see any of that. I just watched some of the playback, and that was just horrible. But, uh, yeah, that's what happens. Sometimes you're in a hurry, in a rush, and you just don't check your angles because you got antifreeze leaking out and just spooging all over, and you want to get her fixed quick. But uh, moral of the story... I got fixed and everything was fine. Uh, the truck ran fine. When I first got over to the ramp and dropped that first load, I opened up that uh, reservoir cap and stuck my finger down there and I was still full. So I was good to run all day. Didn't have to make any extra stops and get any antifreeze or anything like that. But um, it's what it is. I fixed it on the quick. I know you couldn't see it, uh, but you know, I'm sorry next time if that ever happens again, I'll try to make sure your angles are a little bit better so you can see all that kind of stuff. 
But in other news, look what we got in the mail. Monday this thing came. This is new old stock right here. This is the shifter mechanism that I needed for the top of the transmission because this guy on this side right here is blowed out and it's it's that truck has over a million miles on it so the the gasket or bushing if you will is just worn out and there isn't one this is a new cap this is just a little dirty there isn't one right here this is all worn down right here on that other one and when i replace this I will show you what I'm talking about, but this is brand new, and I've got two brand new rebuild kits coming also, which I'm gonna be going and getting tomorrow with the rest of the parts, the cables, and heim joints, hem joints, however you wanna call them. And I think I've got some other things too. Uh, the wheel seals, the nuts that go on, you know, so not wheel seals but um inner and outer shaft seals because they're both leaking on the front differential so i've got those in the nuts that go on that i'm supposed to be picking up in the morning so i'm going to be making a parts run to get that stuff and then that'll be coming to the channel me replacing that stuff so that'll be fun whether i do it in the driveway or the guy that I helped out, Derek, he um, has a shop that he's getting ready to open down the road, which is like five minutes away to where I can go in there and, you know, me and him can do it and, or I can just pay him some money and use the facility for the, you know, shop. Either way, it's going to get done. Like, I've got to take that seat out and stuff, so that's going to be fun and up. I'm thinking about ordering a throttle lock also. That way, you know, I can turn that up and rev the engine higher if I want to build air quicker or it's colder out or I want to set that while I'm running down the interstate and not pedal the whole time because I have got a plate and four screws in my pedal foot. So in the wintertime, that can kind of get uh, irritated, but I still do it. Um... You can't get cruises anymore. You can't buy King Cruises or anything like that because they discontinued them for older trucks. So a throttle lock would be the best case scenario for me running on flat ground around here. You know, just to use, I don't really have any issues with my foot, but it'll just be nice to have. That way I can, you know, set it if I want to when I'm just cruising down the interstate or something. Or if I'm on a long enough stretch and I want to set it at 60 miles per hour say i can do that so that's what i'm going to be doing here in the future so make sure you stay tuned for that um like i said sorry about the angles today at the beginning they were kind of horrible and it, sometimes it just happens so don't criticize me too much but whatever so hopefully you enjoyed today and you know it's just something that happens you just got to make the best of it i was still able to get all my loads in which i made 440 regularly on the the loads not 440 probably 425 plus i made 200 extra dollars from going over to that papa so i made six and a quarter probably which isn't bad and i probably only put eight hours in even though i started later and got home a little bit later is still worked out to be just fine so i'm not complaining and you know i did what i had to do to get it done and that's sometimes all you can do and what you gotta do so like share subscribe comment say what you want don't really matter to me um and that's gonna conclude today so hope you hopefully you enjoyed it and uh you know it was interesting to you so, you know what we say until the next time, we will see ya.